Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to find the Kn value for a neutralization reaction involving a weak acid and a strong base. And in order to be able to find the Kn value, you need to be able to find the net ionic equation for that particular neutralization reaction. The problem you're being asked to solve here asks you to write the balanced net ionic equation for the neutralization reaction involving equal molar amounts of nitrous acid and potassium hydroxide. Then calculate the Kn value for this neutralization reaction. The first thing you want to do is identify the acid-base properties of the two substances involved in the neutralization reaction. Nitrous acid, or HNO2, has a Ka value of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. You could look this up in a table of acid dissociation constants. So you know this is a weak acid. And a good rule of thumb here is that any acid with a Ka value less than 1 is considered a weak acid. Another indicator here is that nitrate, or nitrite, which is the conjugate base of this acid, is not one of the anions that comes from a strong acid. So when nitrous acid donates a proton to water, you're left with the hydronium ion plus the conjugate base nitrite. So nitrite is not one of the anions that comes from a strong monoprotic acid. And these anions that come from strong monoprotic acids do not react appreciably with water to create any acidity or uh, basicity in your solution. And these anions are chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate, and chlorate. So none of these anions will really participate in the acid-base chemistry in a solution. You can consider them inert when it comes to acid-base chemistry. There are also cations that come from strong bases that do not react appreciably with water and will also not participate in the acid-base chemistry. And these include lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. So if we look at the other anions or, cat or cations present in this solution, when potassium hydroxide dissociates into potassium and hydroxide, you can see that potassium is part of this list of cations that come from strong bases that do not react appreciably with water. So based on this, you know you're dealing with a strong base, which is potassium hydroxide, and a weak acid, which is nitrous acid. So once you know this, you can use the generic form for this type of neutralization reaction, the weak acid strong base type, to find the net ionic equation. And the general form for a weak acid strong base neutralization reaction for the net ionic equation is HA plus hydroxide going to water plus the conjugate base of your weak acid. So HA is your weak acid. OH is coming from the strong base, which in this case is potassium hydroxide. Water is formed when the weak acid transfers a proton to the strong base. And the A- minus is the conjugate base of your weak acid, which in this case is nitrite, that NO2- minus anion. So in this case, this is the generic form of the net ionic equation when you have a weak acid strong base type neutralization reaction. To make this more specific to our case, we substitute the HNO2 for the HA because that's our weak acid. We have the OH coming from potassium hydroxide. And you keep the water plus nitrite, which is the conjugate base of our weak acid and is generically represented by the A minus in the generic net ionic equation for this type of neutralization. Now from here to find Kn, you multiply known equilibrium constants 
for reactions that add up to give the net ionic equation. So for weak acid strong base neutralizations, the reactions with known equilibrium constants are usually the reaction for proton transfer from the weak acid to water. So in this case, we'll have nitrous acid transferring a proton to water to give the hydronium ion and the nitrite ion. And we know the Ka, so you have to find equations with known K values. So the Ka here is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. You could look this up in the table of acid dissociation constants. And the other reaction that we often use here to help find the Kn value for this type of neutralization is the reaction for neutralization between the hydroxide that comes from the strong base. So in this case, we're talking about the hydroxide that comes from potassium hydroxide and the hydronium ion produced when the weak acid transfers a proton to water. So this hydronium ion. So the neutralization between those two can be described as the hydronium ion plus the hydroxide ion gives you two waters, which is what you're left over with when that hydronium ion transfers a proton to the hydroxide ion. And the Kw, or the, the K value here, is really 1 over Kw, which is 1.0 times 10 to the 14th. Kw is the equilibrium constant for the reverse of this reaction if you went the other way. So to find the K value for the reaction that's shown here, you take the inverse of Kw. So what you can do now is you can multiply those two K values together to give you the Kn value for this reaction. What you want to make sure of here, though, is that the two reactions that you're using to find the Kn value actually add up to give you the net ionic equation. So we, before multiplying the K values for these reactions, we need to check. So in order to do this, we're going to cancel out substances that appear on both sides of these two equations. So we get rid of the hydronium ion, we get rid of one of the waters, and everything else stays. So when we do that, we're left with the reactants as HNO2 plus OH minus, and the products are H2O plus NO2 minus. So if we look back at the original net ionic equation that we wrote for this neutralization reaction, it matches this one. So we're good. We can use equation 1 and the balance equation 2 here and their K values to find Kn. So Kn for this neutralization reaction is going to be Ka times 1 over Kw. You substitute in the terms here, you get 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 multiplied by 1 over Kw, which is 1.0 times 10 to the 14th. And if you do the math, you find that Kn is 4.5 times 10 to the 10. And that's it. That's your Kn value for this neutralization reaction between nitrous acid and potassium hydroxide.